God, no. The fiendish Riddler has put a, a Marvel shirt on a Batman day. To the Batmobile, Robin, let's go. I must find this shirt in time, Robin. My fans need me to make this video. Oh my God, Robin. Jelly Jimily Jellicus, it's a clue. Ah, the trademark of the Riddler, of course. Riddle me this, defeat the great white cat to win your prize back. If that means what I think it means, we're going to be in a lot of trouble, Robin. Anyway, we must defend Gotham City and get my Batman shirt back. Let's go. Yes, Robin, we have found the great white cat to the Riddler. My God, it's evil as the Riddler himself. Look at those empty eyes of darkness, just like the Riddler. Must be careful, Robin. Don't get too close. Maybe if I use my bad headphones, that I could possibly trip up the cat and knock it out. This must work. Great Gatsby, the great Batman lasso, did not work. But I have one idea which I think may do it. I'm so stupid, Robin. All this time I had in my utility belt a cat repellent spray. This should do it. Let's defeat the monster of the Riddler. Yes, Robin, we have defeated the monster of the Riddler and taken back our Batman shirt. Great work, Robin. Let's head back to the cave. Oh, that was, that was actually really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, let's just move forward into the video. Happy Batman Day, everyone! Now, we all love the great and mysterious adventures of the Dark Knight. We've seen him in many versions and forms. The Golden Age, the Silver Age, Coralion Rebirth, the old Batman serials, the 1960s Adam West Batman show, Tim Burton's movies. Uh... The masterpieces of the Christopher Nolan trilogy and the current Ben the Badass, brilliant, bigger than life Ben the Batman, Ben Affleck. But there's one Batman who we can all appreciate and I think we all can agree that Kevin Conroy is the definitive Batman. And I want to take it back to his debut of being the Dark Knight. Batman the Animated Series, a legendary show from the 90s and it's still talked about to this day. Definitely one of the most mature cartoons I've ever seen and I really like that. It treats me as if I was an adult, not a three-year-old child. So here are my top five favorite Batman the Animated Series episodes. Number five. Harvey Dent, the political figure looked up to by the citizens of Gotham and great friends with Bruce Wayne. This is a two-part episodic saga on how a good man is driven by insanity and does not come back out of that dark tunnel. Big bad heart speaking. It's a very tragic and disturbing story on the character of Harvey Dent, taking a lot of inspiration from the story of Frankenstein and Dr. Jekyll and Hyde. We see the duality of Two-Face very clearly and the show portrays it perfectly. The struggle is real for Harvey, his bond between his love is what mainly keeps him sane but due to his facial disfigurement and the sickening addiction to chance is what unfortunately leads him down that dark hole which he can never come out from. And what even makes it more sad is that even Batman blames himself for what happened to his good friend. I do recommend it to any fan of the show. Number 4 
Beware the Great Ghost is an episode that actually shows something quite happy about Bruce Wayne's childhood. The Great Ghost was a show that Bruce used to watch and was obsessed with. He had all the toys and collectibles, but by chance many years after we see the actor of the Great Ghost in somewhat of a crisis. He gets the help from Batman and are off with an investigation. What makes this episode so special is that not only we have Kevin Conroy voicing Batman, but the great Adam West returning to voice. I guess this could be the passing of the batons of the Batmans. This clearly shows how much love the actors and writers cared for the show. As a kid, I used to watch you with my father. The great ghost was my hero. So it wasn't all for nothing. Number three. Her chance to dream sees Batman in a projected dream caused by the Mad Hatter. Now, when I was a child, I was terrified of this episode. I just never liked the feeling of being trapped in my own mind. And this is what happens to Bruce. However, it's a perfect life for him. His parents are alive, he's married to Selena Kyle, and doesn't have to dress up as a bat anymore. However, he slowly clocks what's going on around him, and this is what makes this episode so special. Batman, with great speed, figures out his problem, further proving his great detective skills and even when he is given the perfect life that he's always wanted but will never get, he still walks away from it. That is what makes Batman so magnificent. I knew I was right when I tried to read the newspaper. The print didn't make sense. Yes. That's because reading is a function of the right side of the brain, while dreams come from the left side. It's impossible to read something in a dream. Number two. Heart of Vice is an Emmy award winning episode that already speaks for itself. Following the origin story of Victor Fries, aka Mr. Freeze, whose main objective is to save his wife who is chronologically frozen due to her having a life threatening illness. Just like episodes like Two Face and The Feet of Clay, it shows that people don't become villains for the sake of being bad. This is another tragic story on how much. Are you willing to go for to help the ones that you love the most? And unfortunately, Mr. Free stepped over that line. This is definitely, in my opinion, the best written and the best animated episode in the entire series. I failed you. I wish there were another way for me to say it. I cannot. I can only beg your forgiveness and pray. Hear me somehow, some place, some place where a warm hand waits for mine. Number one. Yes, my favorite Batman episode is The Man Who Killed Batman. Sid, also known as Sid the Squid, is a very goofy and unthreatening mobster whose dream is to be the biggest and baddest mobster there is. Yeah, just by looking at him, you can tell he's probably one of the least threatening people you have ever seen. But then one night, Sid accidentally kills the Batman and everyone is shocked by this. But Sid isn't happy about this since everyone wants a piece of him. Most importantly, the Joker, he is the most upset on Batman's disappearance. He even purposely robs the bank just to see if Batman will return and stop him. But it turns out Batman doesn't even show up, and so he just puts all the stuff back. He even throws a funeral for Batman. This episode ain't the most critically acclaimed or the most tragic, but I find it the most entertaining and somewhat fun. And Batman's not really in this episode that much, further proving how great the writing and supporting characters are. This episode is a must watch, I recommend it to everyone, I guarantee you will enjoy this. To a future filled with smiles. And I'll be smiling again, just as soon as we take that man there, and slap him in that box there, and roll it into that vat of acid there. And there you have it, my top 5 Batman the Animated Series episodes. What did you think of it? What are your favourite episodes? Please comment below and let me know. I hope you enjoyed this video. With that said, I'm signing out. 
Have a great Batman Day, everyone, and peace.